Hey guys, MBSC1 again. Uh, someone requested to see my Empoleon deck list, and that's all it took for me to want to show you guys it. So, this is it. Alright, so we'll start with the Pokemon. Uh, pretty thick Empoleon line. It is 4, 3, 4. I actually don't have a third print plup with me right now. Um, so I just have to pretend. But yeah, I want it to be really thick because uh, against item lock decks, you can't play rare candy. Um, plus, it just helps a lot with consistency, even if you're not going against an item lock deck. Uh, just three print plup is really strong. It makes it really consistent, so you get it out every game, no matter what. Uh, two or three, one, two, Dust Norline. Um, three Dust Goal because when you get it out, you really need to like put two down. Um, because if your opponent can Lysander and knock out Dust Goals, um, early game, it's gonna be really hard for you to do well. Uh, Dust Nor is really important. Getting it out is really vital. People don't realize how important it is. Uh, to get it out every game, so I thought I, I wanted a really thick line. The one Dust Clops I use pretty much every game, very important. Two Dust Snower is good, uh, three would be awesome, but one is definitely not enough. So that's it for the evolutions. <clears throat> and then there's also three Shaman. Uh, this will help you set up a lot. Uh, three Mill Tank and one Execute. So three Shaman, uh, extremely important. This makes it so you don't have to run like barely any supporters. I think I only run uh, seven draw supporters. It's just Anyway, yeah, so just seven draw supporters, um, and that works because of Shaman uh, with Ultra Ball, so running three is awesome. Three Miltank, because you don't really want to attack with Empoleon until like mid to late game, so you can just use Miltank uh, while you set up. Also works as kind of like a wall, um, even if you can't attack, because that 100 HP isn't really thick, but uh, it's nice that they're knocking out something that isn't going to evolve, so you don't have to, they don't get to knock out any of those Duskull or Piplup or anything like that. And then one to execute is... Uh, obviously just to go with Diving Draw because you can use Diving Draw to discard, execute, and uh, essentially discard nothing because it just comes back to your hand over and over again. And that is all the Pokemon. I wanted to fit an Archon or a Lilip or a Tortuga, uh, basically because their ability is they can go onto the bottom of your deck at any time, um, which works with Empoleon because you just keep drawing it and Diving Drawing it away and you can never deck out. Um, and then for Stadiums... Um, there's three Skyfield. Skyfield uh, is awesome with this deck because you have so many bench Pokemon and you can just keep using Shaman over and over again. Um, and uh, Empoleon's attack command does more damage for each Pokemon in place. So if you and your opponent both have like a full bench, you can one shot them because that's uh, eight Pokemon on each side and then both have, there's one active, so that's 180 damage. So attack command can do 180 for one color or one energy if. You know, you have that situation. So basically, Skyfield is just awesome for making you do tons of damage. 4N, uh, this is great for just setting up. It's a continually a great supporter, even in the late game, because uh, you tend to not get N down to low amounts, because uh, you can just use Dust Nor to make it so that you never take prizes. So N is awesome with Dust Nor and in this deck. 2 Chorus, um, there's so many bench Pokemon, you're going to have such a big bench with Skyfield that uh, 2 Chorus is really helpful. I originally had one more Skyla. Um, but Skyla is kind of a hindrance when you're going against item uh, lock decks. If you get like Skyla early game, it sucks really badly, and it only really works to get other supporters. So, uh, yeah, it was ultimately cut for those reasons. And then one Sycamore, and this is those are all my draw supporters right there. <laughs> um, one Sycamore is just so that you know you can discard your hand and draw seven. Um, it didn't want to run another Chorus because Chorus isn't good early game. Um, I felt like three is probably excessive. Because uh, you never really want to start with a chorus unless you know you can fill up your bench super fast. So I felt like one Sycamore was good, and then two VS Seeker to get back any of those, or Lysander or Wally. So um, yeah, I only run two Seeker because um, I had to put in a third Lysander, and that was the only thing I could find I could cut. So <clears throat> uh, yeah, that's why. And I needed two Lysander because this deck's bad matchups are against uh, Trevenant and Raichu, and uh, Lysander is extremely good against both of those. Um, it also has kind of a bad matchup against uh, Toad, and an awful matchup against Mega Manetric. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, that's why we have the second Lysander. Um, but normally it's not super important. If those decks weren't, like, if it wasn't super good against those decks, and, um, like, item lock decks weren't as big, then I'd definitely run the third VS Seeker, because Dust Nova kind of replaces Lysander. And then there's two Wally, um, because against item lock decks, that's really good. You can go Piplup, Wally, uh, Primplup on your first turn, and then second turn, Evolve to Empoleon, or the other way around, where on your second turn, you Wally, Primplup, and then just, or no, you have to play Primplup and then Wally into Empoleon. But either way, it gives you, uh, quicker Empoleons or quicker Dust Nors against those item lock decks, which is really helpful. And just in general, it's good for consistency. Uh, just a really strong card, I think, in this deck. So that is all the supporters in the stadium.
Then for the items, we have the standard A spec in this format, computer search. Seems like everything run computer, runs computer search. Just really good for consistency, very strong, very consistent. Um, I kind of wanted to run Life 2, but I just don't have enough consistency cards to do that. Um, I would run like six Ultra Ball in this deck if I could, and that's the closest thing to another Ultra Ball I can run. So, uh, One switch, this is just so if your opponent Lysander's Dusnor, um, you can switch it out of the active. Uh, also helps if you just have an Empoleon or something like that with two retreat that you can't retreat. Um, so you, switch is good for that. One escape, or Sacred Ash, um, this is just to get back, you know, your and mostly just your Empoleon line and your Dusnor line, mostly Dusnor line, uh, because people, you know, will knock out those Dusk Goals repeatedly, um, just to get back whatever you need. This Pokemon has so many evolutions, it's kind of important to be able to get back stuff. Uh, two Muscle Band is just to increase damage, pretty standard and obvious. Most decks run three Muscle Band, or uh, two Muscle Band and one Silver Bangle, sometimes people ran that in this deck, but uh, I just went with a two because that's all I could fit. Four Ultra Ball, extremely important, never go down to less than four Ultra Ball. Unless maybe if you run like three fan club, even then I'd still run for ultra level. Um, but either way, it's just to get your Pokemon out. I mean, you have like 24 Pokemon in this deck, so uh, it's important to be able to search out whatever you need whenever you need it. So uh, four ultra ball is definitely necessary. Four rare candy. Um, I'm kind of back and forth between this fourth rare candy and um, what was it? Oh, in my uh, second Sycamore, that was what I had in before. Um, but I think without that second second more, I'll still be okay on drawing. And the fourth rare candy helps a lot um, against faster decks like Raichu and Night March. Raichu actually isn't that bad of a deck or a matchup, which you might think it would be because it's an electric type, but it's actually um, a fairly good matchup, like a 60-40 matchup, because you can go so fast and um, keep up, you know, the pace against them. Um, with Dustnor too, Dustnor helps a lot. So yeah, that's all the items. And lastly, there are seven water energy. I had six before, and six actually works, um, but I figured out the seventh helps a lot against those item lock decks, just because it increases consistency, and item lock decks are going to hurt your consistency, um, so I felt like one more would be hel more helpful in helping against those decks, so seven has been very strong, and I like seven a lot. So that's it for the deck, guys. Like the video if you like the video, comment if you want to tell me something, and subscribe for more.